Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you and explain you how you can make a fixed DC 12 volt 1 ampere power supply just like this. So I've made this um, uh, my 12 volt power supply, which gives me um, uh, 12 volt and 5 volt output. As you can see, these wires, this the, these wires give me 12 volt 1 ampere, and these wires give me 12 volt, uh, sorry, 5 volt 1 ampere of output. So uh, basically, uh, to make this uh, power supply, you will need components. So I'm gonna show you and explain you how you can make this power supply and which components you need to make this supply. This is the simplest uh, power supply, which is which uh, gives you 12 volt 1 ampere. So I will show you and explain you how to make this power supply and how I made this power supply. So first of all, the components you need obviously is this uh, PCB, this printed circuit board. Okay, this is the standard one. And then you need a transformer. Uh, in my case, I've used this 12 volt 1 ampere transformer. Okay, so you need, you need to purchase this transformer and then um here is the uh, rectifier this is the uh, bridge uh, full wave rectifier so you need to uh, also purchase this rectifier and then um comes here two capacitors okay uh, so i have used these two capacitors and then after that uh, some voltage regulators at the output of the uh, dc power supply so these are all the components which you need and uh, uh, now i will explain you how this power supply works okay so first of all starting with the transformer you will input 230 volts from here okay and then 234 okay and then 230 volts uh, goes into this transformer and obviously this is the 230 volts um, uh, to 12 volt transformer so it converts 230 volts to 12 volts and one ampere so you will get output from this transformer from these wires as 12 volt and one ampere and after that it comes here to this bridge this full wave rectifier so the reason why we are using this full wave bridge rectifier is because the wave of the signal which is coming from this transformer is not a complete plus 12 volt signal not a plus 12, a 12 volt wave means for example if the, this is the wave then it is uh, on the upside it is plus 12 volt and on the downside it is negative 12 volts so you are getting a signal which is the plus 12 volt and negative 12 volts okay now on the output side obviously you need a complete positive 12 volts that's why we use a, reg, uh, a rectifier whether it's a half wave or whether it's a full wave to rectify the signal to rectify the wave, wave to positive volts okay that is coming from the transformer so if we use a half wave bridge rectifier then what happens it will convert it will let uh, the plus 12 volts pass but when it comes for the negative 12 volts it will make them zero so you will get nothing for negative 12 volts so you will get this wave just like this okay you can see my finger you will get the wave just like this which which is the positive 12 volt and then zero positive 12 volt and zero okay so in the output you will get distortion of the signal which is the plus 12 volt and zero obviously we need a continuous signal that's why we use full wave bridge rectifier which means this full wave rectifier converts negative uh, it will let pass through the plus 12 volts but it, it will also convert the negative 12 volts to positive 12 volts so you, you will get a complete wave of positive 12 volts on the output okay so now the negative and positive 12 volts which are coming from the transformer are converted by uh, this uh, full wave bridge rectifier to positive 12 volts so you you will get a complete signal of positive 12 volt and now after that the complete signals of uh, the signals which are coming for the transformer are just like this okay and after when they pass through this rectifier they were just like this the positive 12 volts okay now when the current uh, the voltage pass passes from these capacitors now you can see these are two capacitors so this one is the 6800 microfarads capacitor 
and this one is the 0.035 microfarads capacitor so the reason why you uh, why I've choose and why I've used these two capacitors is because uh, to pur purify the voltage as you know the capacitor stores the charge and to purify the voltage so when the voltage goes from these capacitors it will purify the voltage obviously the voltage coming from the um, rectifier obviously it's positive 12 volts but it will it it has some kind of a you know a pulse and ups and downs of signal but these two uh, capacitors uh, will purify the voltage now after that when uh, the voltage comes here after passing these both these uh, capacitors now here we have two voltage regulators okay so what these uh, voltage regulator does is that i have this is the 12 volt voltage regulator and this is the 5 volt voltage regulator so when the voltage uh, 5, 12 volt 1 ampere comes here and here this 12 volt voltage regulator will obviously it's a 12 volt voltage regulator so it will uh, allow all 12 volts to come here and this 5 volt voltage regulator only allows 5 volts to pass so with this 12 volt voltage regulator you will get a 12 volt and 1 ampere output on these wires these positive and negative wires and with this 5 volt voltage regulator obviously you will get 5 volt and 1 ampere on these wires as output and as you can see uh, on the bottom you have all the connections of the PCB uh, here I've used um, jumper wire so guys this is it for this video I hope you like it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you have any questions and queries and please guys subscribe to the channel and for more interesting videos just like this hope to see you again with an another interesting video till then bye bye